Have you ever seen or heard of a Li-Fi? Not Wi-Fi, a Li-Fi. This dongle and this access point use a light to communicate, not radio waves. This uses infrared light, so you don't see it with the human eye. But if I take a phone, notice there you can see the light being transmitted by this access point. Again, this is infrared light, not radio waves. Many reasons to use this. One of them is that light doesn't go through buildings or even through a tent. A light technology firm strikes deal with US Army. So the US Army has already been using this technology for a while. Notice this article from the BBC is from April 2021. The advantage for the US military, as an example, is that signals are not sent through a tent because they blocked. In this example, I've got the 2025 Ethernet roadmap. And what I can do is block the signal between that dongle and the access point on my desk here. I've got a continuous ping going here. This is pinging my Starlink router. And if I put this in front of the dongle, the pings will time out because I'm blocking the light signal between these two devices. Take it away and notice the signal comes back again. I can connect from this laptop through the dongle to the access point to Starlink. So in this example, I'll go to fost.com. This is Netflix's website where I can check my internet speed. This system can go up to 100 megabits per second. Other systems can go gig, 10 gig, even terabits have been tested in a lab. The big advantage here is that hackers don't get access to the data from the outside because light is blocked, Wi-Fi is not blocked. So scientists can now use Wi-Fi to see through people's walls and your body can be fingerprinted and tracked by Wi-Fi signals with a 95% accuracy. Hackers can sit in the parking lot of a building and start hacking the Wi-Fi network, but they can't do that with Li-Fi because the signal is blocked by something as simple as this or a window or a wall.